Cervantes. Buenas tardes, señora. In the first place, Mr. Cervantes, I am not a señora. Señorita. And in the second place, I would be much obliged if you would speak English in this school. It's all right. And another thing, Mr. Cervantes, there is no such word in the English language as sarite. The correct terminology is, it is all right, or it's all right, or even just all right. Do you understand? Sarite. <laughs> I give up. Whatever is the matter. I'm going to be sick. I'm not here, I hope. My stomach, she's down side up. Well, for heaven's sake, why don't you go and see a doctor? I am going tonight after lessons. <laughs> hey, amigo, would you like a cigar? No, no, thank you. You are not yourself tonight. Of course he is himself. Who else could he be? <laughs> Suli means something is wrong. She's right. Oh. What is it, Juan? I am going to be sick. Holy ravioli. <laughs> you changed your religion. Oh. Hey, the Pope's not gonna like that. <laughs> I am welcoming you like a brother. But first, you must be wearing the turban. Uh, what's the matter? You are crazy. I am sick in my stomach. Perdón, perdón. I am going to see if I have fever. In Japan. Yes. We take home temperature from different places. <laughs> you not put thermometer in your mouth. I am not want to want to know where you be put thermometer. <laughs> I put her under. Oh, Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Come on in your places, everybody. Thank you. Oh, something the matter, one? <laughs> what? He's a say he's not the feeling very well. Oh, oh really? What's wrong? <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? He says, say, stop asking the stupid questions. <laughs> He's got a thermometer in his mouth. <laughs> Have you got a temperature? <laughs> what? A moment. Oh. Santa Madre! <laughs> what is it? I am dead! <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. You see? I have no temperature. You're looking at the wrong end. Ah, it's all right. What is it? 98.4. <laughs> I am dying. Well, that's normal. Eh, hey, maybe that the moment it's not working. Yes, it is. And up to now, it's the only thing that's working in this classroom. I sit down. Yes. Yeah, you're oh, dumb, I was just sit down, sir. Now, you have all failed your lower Cambridge certificate examination once, and I don't want a repetition of that at the end of this term. So, tonight, I'm going to ask each of you to pick one of the ten subjects I have written on the blackboard, and then I shall ask you questions on them. Very straightforward. Music, British history, the royal family, poetry, Shakespeare, etc. All right? Now, who is going to start the ball rolling? We are not having a ball to be rolling anywhere. <laughs> all right, Ali, just for that, you can start. Now, which subject do you pick? Oh, blame <laughs> Television. Television. Right. Who is known as the father of television? Eamon Andrews. <laughs> Logie Baird. Oh, blimey. I'm seeing him last night with his little friend, Boo Boo. <laughs> That's Yogi Bear. I'm talking about Logie Baird, the man who invented television. Sorry, please. Right. How much is a television license? I'm not knowing. I never buy one. <laughs> I hope you realize you can get into serious trouble for not having a license. Uh, please tell me something. The money for licenses for BBC, yes? Yes. Then I'm jolly okay. I only watch ITV. <laughs> it doesn't work that way, Ali. You still need a license. Now, Anna, which subject would you like? The Royal Family. The Royal Family. Right. Who is the Prince of Wales? Harry Seacombe. <laughs> Prince Charles. Yeah. Which recent King of England was never crowned? Edward Trugorfinzer. Good. Max, pick a subject. Uh, British politics. British politics, right. What, where does the term Gladstone bag come from? Mrs. Gladstone. <laughs> Gladstone bag is the name given to a bag made popular by one of our Prime Ministers, William Ewart Gladstone. Sorry, boss. I'll ask you another. What function does the mace have in the House of Commons? Uh, they have the mace... Yes. Uh, to eat the cheese. 
That's mice. Maybe I pick another subject. Maybe you just sit down. OK. Daniel, let's see which subject you prefer. I prefer the subject of love. Yes, I'm sure you do, but that is not written on the board. So would you please pick one that is written down? OK. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Right. Who was Shakespeare's wife? Mrs. Shakespeare. <laughs> Very clever, but what was her maiden name? I do not know. Anne Hathaway. Can you name three of the plays Shakespeare wrote? Romeo et Juliette. Good. As you like it. One more. I do not know anymore. Well, I'll give you a clue. King Kong. <laughs> Leah. Yes. Yeah. Taro. Arsenal. <laughs> Which subject do you choose? Poetry. Poetry. Right. Who wrote upon Westminster Bridge? Not no. <laughs> but uh, seems funny play to write. <laughs> it's a poem by Wordsworth. I'll ask you another. Who wrote to a field mouse? Sounds like a man who is uh, crazy in the <laughs> It was written by Robert Burns over 200 years ago. Jamila, pick a subject. The Bible. The Bible, right. Who was Samson? Victor Mature. <laughs> I beg your pardon? He was being telly last week in film. Well, never mind the film. Who was he historically? Ah, acha. He was man who was be very strong. One night, he is be fancy a bit of hanky-panky with woman Delilah. <laughs> so, he is be hanky-pankying and she is be ask him how he is be very strong. And he is be tell her it is in his long hair. So, one night when he is be fast asleep, she is be give him shorty back and sides. <laughs> and when he is wake, he is be take prisoner and blinded. But when his hair is be grow long again, he is be pulled down palace. Is that the authorised version? <laughs> it is what I am be see on telly. Thank you, Jamila. Giovanni. See, si, Professor. Would you pick a subject, please? Eh, uh... Music. Right, music. Give me something from the Pirates of Penzance. I never heard of them. <laughs> are they a punk or a rock group? The Pirates of Penzance is one of the Savoy operas by Gilbert and Sullivan. Oh, I really like him. Who? Gilbert or Sullivan? <laughs> I'm talking about Gilbert and Sullivan. Oh, OK. Any more? Yes. What can you tell me about Handel's Largo? Not much. I never drink the stuff. <laughs> I love... Your lack of general knowledge is no laughing matter. Pranjit, it's your turn. Pick a subject. The British is less. <laughs> I always... Right. What is the capital of England? E. <laughs> I'll rephrase that. What is the capital city of England? London. Correct. Can you name three English counties? Oh, dear me, I am not knowing any English counties. Not one? No. The only county I am knowing is the county of Monte Cristo. <laughs> That's count. Thousand apologies. Right, thank you. Suli, your subject, please. Only two rest, British history. Right. Who was known as the Black Prince? Mohammed Ari. <laughs> Why, uh, Edward, the son of Edward III. Very solly. But who invented the cotton spinning machine? Chang Hoi Fang. <laughs> Wrong. Sir Richard Arkwright. Your little act like copy invention from Hoi Fang. Just as all the Western imperialists steal invention from Chinese scientists. China first to invent telephone, television, radio, refrigerators, and discover penicillin, radium, and lots of other things. Rubbish. No. Uh, oh, China not invent rubbish. <laughs> I mean, some of them just talk it. Juan. Si, senor. I pick subject. Yeah, well, this, 
There's only one left. It's Hobson's choice. No, Hobson's choice. British custom. <laughs> well, that's what I meant. Do you know anything about British uh, custom? Plenty, plenty. Oh, good. First, you have uh, green or red. Green or red what? British custom. <laughs> Do you have something to declare? You go on the red. <laughs> Nothing to declare? Green. No one. See, I know. No, the question is not about those sort of customs. It means the things that we British do that are peculiar to us. Ah, speak English. <laughs> well, a little more than that one. Look, I'll give you an example. November the 5th, Guy Fawkes Day, is something we celebrate only in Britain. Ah, any more? There's afternoon tea, cricket, the boat race. Good, good. Any more? Bob a job week, Chelsea flip. Look, I'm supposed to be asking you the question. <laughs> so I. <laughs> I, I, I. I terrible pain in my stomach. Oh, oh, yeah, right, yeah, uh, yeah. Suli, would you nip down and... Uh, I'm sorry, would you run along and ask uh, Mrs Foster to come and have a look at one? Like you. Terrible Yeah, well, lie on the table. It might be. Oh, 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 blimey. He's not looking very well. I'm dying. Nonsense. Don't be so pessimistic. <laughs> uh, professor is right. You're going to be okie-cokie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mrs. Foster. Uh... Where does it hurt? Uh, stomach, stomach. <laughs> Better get him to the hospital. I think that this man has appendicitis. Are you sure? Mr. Brown, I was a senior sister for several years. If this man is not attended to very quickly, it could prove fatal. Any sign of Mr. Brown yet, Sidney? Very pardon? Mr. Brown. Oh, Mr. Brown. Oh, no, he's not back yet. This is most inconvenient. I don't know why he had to go to the hospital with Mr. Cervantes. Well, somebody had to go with him. <laughs> I come back. Don't tell me they've taken your appendix out already. Eh, uh, no, half operation. Not necessary. No, oh, so you didn't have appendicitis after all? No. Pain was caused by abundante tortilla. Well, that sounds serious. What is it? Uh, too much eating. <laughs> pardon, pardon. And where is Mr. Brown? He no come back. What do you mean, he no come back? Uh, when we leave the hospital, we come down the step, and Mr. Brown, he missed just one step, and he breaks his leg. How could he possibly break his leg if he only missed one step? Step he missed, top step. <laughs> Well, sister. Good. Did you remember to give Mr. Parker his blanket bath? I gave them all a blanket bath. All? Have I done something wrong? Blanket baths are for those patients who cannot bath themselves. They all seem to enjoy it, especially Mr. Brown. It was lovely. I'm sure it was. I should think you've set him back at least a couple of weeks. I was only doing my best. Well, in future, can't you remember that you are a student nurse, not a geisha girl? Sorry, sister. Oh, by the way, Mr. Jones is back from surgery. We have three Mr. Jones in this ward. What is his initial? Uh, Jones, W. Good. I'll go and have a look at him. Is there anything you fancy? <laughs> yeah, but I don't think sister would approve. Oh, cheeky. Do you want a bottle? Oh, I couldn't have a light ale, could I? <laughs> Not that sort of bottle. Ah, oh, no, thanks. Not until I've had the light ale, anyway. You're not getting it. I know, but it's worth a try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you, do you know when I'll be discharged? Probably tomorrow. Oh, thank goodness for that. I can't wait to get back to my students. Oh, shudder to think what they're doing without me. Oh, oh, no. No. Come along, I'll set it down. Now, I intend to find out how you're coming along with your English. We are learning very much the well English. That's right. I speak the English so good, nobody knows that I'm Italian. I find that very hard to believe. You see, even you don't know. <laughs> now, I 
I'm going to ask you some general questions on everyday topics. First of all, can anyone tell me what the first day of the week is? Sunny day. No, it is not sunny day. Rainy day? <laughs> Sunday. Repeat it, please. It, please. <laughs> Repeat the word Sunday. Sunday. Mr. Nadim, name me two seasons. Uh, salt and pepper. <laughs> Those are seasonings. Now give me the names of two of the seasons of the year. Oh, dearie me. Anybody? Spring time. Spring time. Spring time. <laughs> now, Mr. Nadim, what comes after spring time? Holiday time. <laughs> Time. Jelly good. Mr. Cervantes. Si, senor. What do the letters AC mean? Por favor. What does AC mean? Uh, four. AC has nothing to do with four. Sure. AC spade, AC hot, AC fire, and AC <laughs> AC means alternating current. Ah, hello. Wrong one. Mr. Papandrios. Yes, Miss Courtney? I don't suppose you can give me the name of any other sort of current? Sure. Black current. <laughs> I am talking about electricity. AC is alternating current. DC is direct current. OK. Mr. Nagizumi. Ah, oh, sir. <laughs> what would it signify if I said you were a dog in a manger? Well, Sim, you're crazy in the head. <laughs> I am Melo, not Doggo. You are also rather stupid. Oh, Miss Schmidt. Yeah. You are on a train going to Glasgow. Why am I going to Glasgow? Doesn't matter why. You want to sleep on the train, what would you ask for? A bed. <laughs> you would have a berth in the sleeping car. Nine. How can I have a birth when I'm not pregnant? <laughs> Are you serious? Wow. I save myself for when I meet Mr. Wright. For your information, Miss Schmidt, a birth, B-E-R-T-H, is the name given to a bed on a ship or a train. In Schuldigung, you must think I'm very stupid. That is the most sensible remark I have heard in this classroom so far. Mademoiselle Favre. Oui, Mademoiselle Courtney. Where is St. Paul's? St. Paul's what? <laughs> St. Paul's Cathedral. I do not know. It's somewhere in London, I think. It is near Ludgate Circus. Have you ever been to Ludgate Circus? No, but I have been to Billy Smart Circus. <laughs> You're all absolutely hopeless. Doesn't anybody know anything? Yes, please. I am knowing lots of things. Are you? Absolutely. Do you know what a Philistine is? Most certainly. It is medicine that is 45 in the over 40s. <laughs> it is nothing of the sort. Thousand apologies. You are all Philistines. Oh, no. I am Pakistan. <laughs> Go to tea. <laughs> Hey, Giovanni, you get me a cup of tea and I go on phone hospital to see how is Mr. Brown. Okay, okay. All right. Men's orthopedic ward, Sister King. Hello. Uh, would you please tell me how is Mr. Brown? Mr. Brown? Uh, could I have the Christian name, please? Sure. Juan. <laughs> Juan? Is he Spanish? No, 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 no. I am Spanish. Ati. Juan is Spanish for John, isn't it? Si, senora. Will you hold on a moment, please? <laughs> Brown John... Are you a relative? No, no, just a friend. 
Well, I'm afraid I have some rather bad news for you. You mean Mr. Brown is worst? He had a heart attack during the night. <laughs> oh, Santa Mar. You mean Mr. Brown is dead? <laughs> Good morning, Sydney. Good morning, Miss Courtney. It's very sad about Mr. Brown, isn't it? Terrible. I thought you might have gone to the funeral this morning. No. I've got far too upset. I know what you mean. It's so tragic. Taken so young. It's terrible. alive. Uh, then whose funeral have the students gone to? as well. We must be making big celebration. Yeah, why we not go to the pub? Lighty yeah. hall? Yeah, yeah. I'll second that. Ah, hey, I push you. Hey, no, I push a professor. Oh, I, I push, push, push you. you. I push him here and I push him here. Go away. Hey, you don't mean that. You want a bet? Hey, we bring you some flowers. Oh, Juan, you shouldn't have spent money on flowers for me. I not spend money. We already bought them for your funeral. <laughs>
Buenas tardes, señora. In the first place, Mr. Cervantes, I am not a señora. Señorita. And in the second place, I would be much obliged if you would speak English in this school. Sorry. And another thing, Mr. Cervantes, there is no such word in the English language as sorry. The correct terminology is it is all right, or it's all right, or even just all right. Do you understand? Sorry. <laughs> I give up. Whatever is the matter. I'm going to be sick. Or not here, I hope. My stomach is downside up. Well, for heaven's sake, why don't you go and see a doctor? I am going tonight after lessons. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Hey, amigo, would you like a cigar? No, no, thank you. You are not yourself tonight. Of course he is himself. Who else could he be? <laughs> Suli means something is wrong. She's right. Oh. What is it, Juan? I am going to be sick. Holy ravioli. <laughs> you changed your religion. Oh. Hey, the Pope's not gonna like that. <laughs> I am welcoming you like a brother. But first, you must be wearing the turban. Uh, what's the matter? You're all crazy. I am sick in my stomach. Perdón, perdón. I am going to see if I have fever. In Japan, yes. we take a temperature from different places. <laughs> we not put thermometer in mouth. I am not to want to know where you be put thermometer. We put a under. Come on in your places, everybody. Oh, something the matter, one? <laughs> what? He's a say he's not the feeling very well. Oh, really? What's wrong? <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? He's a say stop asking the stupid questions. <laughs> he's got a thermometer in his mouth. <laughs> Have you got a temperature? <laughs> what? A moment. Oh. Santa Madre! <laughs> what is it? I am dead! <laughs> Ridiculous. See, I have no temperature. You're looking at the wrong end. Ah, so I. What is it? 98.4. <laughs> I am dying. Well, that's normal. Eh, maybe that the moment that's not working. Yes, it is. And up to now, it's the only thing that's working in this classroom. I sit down. Yes. Yeah. You're oh, dumb, yeah, what's Just sit down. down. <laughs> Now, you have all failed your Lower Cambridge Certificate Examination once, and I don't want a repetition of that at the end of this term. So, tonight, I'm going to ask each of you to pick one of the ten subjects I have written on the blackboard, and then I shall ask you questions on them. Very straightforward. Music, British history, the royal family, poetry, Shakespeare, etc. All right? Now, who is going to start the ball rolling? We are not having a ball to be rolling anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ali, just for that, you can start. Now, which subject do you pick? Oh, blimey. <laughs> Television. Television. Right. Who is known as the father of television? Eamon Andrews. <laughs> Logie Baird. Oh, blimey. I'm seeing him last night with his little friend, Boo Boo. <laughs> That's Yogi Bear. I'm talking about Logie Baird, the man who invented television. Sorry, please. Right. How much is a television license? I'm not knowing. I never buy one. <laughs> also. Which subject do you choose? Poetry. Poetry. Right. Who wrote Upon Westminster Bridge? Not no. <laughs> but, uh, seems funny play to write. <laughs> it's a poem by Wordsworth. I'll ask you another. Who wrote To a Field Mouse? Sounds like a man who is, uh, crazy in the <laughs> It was written by Robert Burns over 200 years ago. Jim Miller, pick a subject. The Bible. The Bible, right. Who was Samson? Victor Mature. <laughs> I beg your pardon? He was being telly last week in film. Well, never mind the film. Who was he historically? Ah, acha. He was man who was be very strong. One night, he is be fancy a bit of Hanky panky with woman behind <laughs> So he is be hanky pankying and she is be ask him how he is be very strong. And he is be tell her it is in his long hair. So one night when he is be fast asleep, she is be give him 
shorty back and sides. <laughs> and when he is awake, he is be taken prisoner and blinded. But when his hair is be grow long again, he is be pulled down palace. Is that the authorised version? <laughs> it is what I am BC on telly. Thank you, Jamila. Giovanni. Si, professore. Would you pick a subject, please? Eh, uh, uh, music. Right, music. Give me something from the Pirates of Penzance. I never heard of them. <laughs> are they a punk or a rock group? <laughs> the Pirates of Penzance is one of the Savoy operas by Gilbert and Sullivan. Oh, I really like him. Who? Gilbert or Sullivan? I'm talking about Gilbert and Sullivan. Oh, OK. Any more? Yes. What can you tell me about Handel's Largo? Not much. I never drink the stuff. I love... Your lack of general knowledge is no laughing matter. Ranjit, it's your turn. Pick a subject. The British is less. Right. What is the capital of England? E. I'll rephrase that. What is the capital city of England? London. Correct. Can you name three English counties? Oh, dear me. I am not knowing any English counties. Not one? No. The only county I am knowing is the county of Monte Cristo. <laughs> That's count. Thousand apologies. Right, thank you. Suli, your subject, please. Only two rest, British history. Right. Who was known as the Black Prince? Mohammed Ari. <laughs> Why, uh, Edward, the son of Edward III. Very sorry. But who invented the cotton spinning machine? Chang Hoi Fang. <laughs> Wrong. Sir Richard Arkwright. You literally act like copy invention from Hoi Fang. Just as all the Western imperialists steal invention from Chinese scientists. China first to invent telephone, television, radio, refrigerators, and discover penicillin, radium, and lots of other things. Rubbish. Uh, no. China not invent rubbish. <laughs> I mean, some of them just talk it. One. Si, senor. I pick subject. Yeah, well, there's, there's only one left. It's Hobson's choice. No, Hobson's choice. British custom. <laughs> Well, that's what I meant. Do you know anything about British uh, customs? Plenty, plenty. Oh, good. First, you have uh, green or red. Green or red what? British custom. <laughs> if you have something to declare, you go on the red. <laughs> Nothing to declare, green. No one. See, I know. I hope you realise you can get into serious trouble for not having a licence. Uh, please tell me something. The money for licences for BBC, yes? Yes. Then I'm jolly OK. I only watch ITV. <laughs> it doesn't work that way, Ali. You still need a license. Now, Anna, which subject would you like? The royal family. The royal family. Right. Who is the Prince of Wales? Harry Seacombe. <laughs> Prince Charles. Oh, yeah. Which recent King of England was never crowned? Edward Trukov Vincer. Good. Max, pick a subject. Uh, British politics. British politics, right. What, where does the term Gladstone bag come from? Mrs. Gladstone. <laughs> Gladstone bag is the name given to a bag made popular by one of our prime ministers, William Ewart Gladstone. Sorry, boss. I'll ask you another. What function does the mace have in the House of Commons? Uh, they have the mace... Yes? Uh, ...to eat the cheese. <laughs> That's mice. Yeah. Maybe I pick another subject. Yeah, maybe you just sit down. OK. <laughs> Daniel, let's see which subject you prefer. I prefer the subject of love. <laughs> Yes, I'm sure you do, but that is not written on the board. So would you please pick one that is written down? OK. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Right. Who was Shakespeare's wife? 
Mrs. Shakespeare. <laughs> Very clever, but what was her maiden name? I do not know. Anne Hathaway. Can you name three of the plays Shakespeare wrote? Romeo et Juliette. Good. As you like it. One more. I do not know any more. Well, I'll give you a clue. King Kong. <laughs> Leah. Yeah. Tarot. 